in this session we will understand how to calculate nano crystallite size using x-ray diffraction technique let us first discuss what do we mean by nano crystallites in a crystal we can find various regions in which some regular crystal structure is followed these regions are separated by boundaries these boundaries are called as grain boundaries and these regions where certain crystal structure is followed is called as a crystallite also called as a grain in case of nanomaterials these crystallites are called as nano crystallites we can find the size of this nano crystallites by using debe scherer's formula d is equal to k lambda upon beta cos theta here k is a constant lambda is wavelength of x rays used in the x ray diffraction experiment beta is full width at half maximum this beta can be obtained from the graph which is plotted in x ray diffraction experiment and theta is bragg's angle at which maximum is obtained in x ray diffraction experiment we will talk more about this in the coming slides when x rays are made incident on a crystal which is used as a diffraction grating in x ray diffraction experiment they are reflected from the planes inside this crystal as they are reflected from different planes path difference is introduced between them in this case the path difference introduced between ray number 1 and ray number 2 is d sin theta plus d sin theta that is 2d sin theta if this path difference is integral multiple of wavelength of x rays then the two rays interfere constructively giving rise to the maximum and this condition for maximum is nothing but bragg's law of x ray diffraction so in this case the path difference is 2d sin theta where d is interplanar spacing so 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda this is the condition for maximum and this condition is known as bragg's law of x ray diffraction so according to this bragg's law of x ray diffraction we will get maximum for a particular angle theta this angle theta is also called as bragg's angle x ray diffraction method is a very powerful method which can be used in the study of nano crystals using x ray diffraction we can find out the crystal structure we can calculate the size of the nano crystallite we can study the texture dislocation density of the desired material the schematic diagram of x ray diffraction is shown over here conceptually this x ray diffraction technique is very simple technique x rays are made incident onto the sample surface these x rays are diffracted from the atomic planes inside the sample surface diffracted x rays are collected at the x ray detector this x ray detector can be moved at various angles so that we can find out intensity of x rays at different angles after finding intensity of x rays at different angles a graph of intensity versus angle 2 theta is plotted in this graph we can get peaks at certain angles this peak represents the constructive interference that is maximum in the diffraction pattern this maximum occurs when bragg's law of x ray diffraction is satisfied 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda so whenever this law is satisfied we will get this kind of peak in this graph the highest peak is identified with the help of this peak we can find out the bragg's angle theta and beta the full width at half maximum which is required in debe scherer's formula to calculate the size of nano crystallite now how to find theta and beta let us try to understand the highest intensity point in this peak can be used to find out the value of theta the bragg's angle which is required in this debe scherer's formula and beta the full width at half maximum 
can be obtained by drawing a line AB at intensity I max upon 2 where I max is highest intensity. Now beta can be found by subtracting minimum value of 2 theta at point A from maximum value of 2 theta at point B. Once we get Bragg's angle theta and full width at half maximum beta from this graph, we will convert that beta in radians and we can substitute this theta and beta in de Bezier's formula. K is a constant which is approximately equal to 0.9 and lambda is wavelength of x-rays. So these values can also be substituted and d the size of nanocrystallite can be calculated. So this is how size of nanocrystallite can be calculated using de Scherer's formula and data obtained in X-ray diffraction experiment. So thank you for watching this session. If you like this session, please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends also. Thank you. Thank you very much.